The leaks are aplenty. This time, it's Intel CPUs that are making their way to databases. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. If you've got an itch to stay up to date on all things hardware, make sure to scratch it by subscribing to the channel. Now on to the news. An Australian retailer has apparently leaked out quite a few new Intel Coffee Lake CPUs, and they're finally the entry-level SKUs I know many of you have been hoping for. With it will possibly come the more entry-level motherboards like the B360. The wave of new processors starts with a host of Celeron and Pentium CPUs, the first of which is the Celeron G4900 for just $64 Australian dollars, which translates to $51 US dollars. With that said, keep in mind that there are a ton more things that go into pricing besides currency exchange, so this can vary a little bit more. Either way, this 2-core, two 2-thread two CPU comes with a base clock of 3.1GHz and 2MB cache. There are also a few Pentium 2-core, two 4-thread CPUs. If you want to see those, I'll have it linked under Sources in the description. Moving along to what I think most of you will be more interested in is the i3-8300, the i5-8500, and the i5-8600 non-K edition. Now, while these do appear on the Australian retailer, they also make their way to the SciSoft database. First up, the i3-8300 is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU with a base clock of 3.7 GHz, but no information on boost clocks, and it's selling for 211 Australian dollars, which puts it around $169 US. Next, we have the i5-8500, which comes in a base clock of 3 GHz and once again an unknown boost. I'd expect around 4.1 or 4.2 GHz since the i5-8400 has a 2.8 GHz base and a 4 GHz boost and the 8500 is just 200 MHz more on the base clock. That'll be a nice little performance increase over the already great price to performance i5-8400, but keep in mind that the 8500 is 20 Australian dollars more. One cool thing to look at when determining the expected price in the US is to look at the already released CPUs in Australia. For example, the 8400 is 270 Australian dollars, which translates to about $216 US while it currently costs between 200 and 202, 205 right now. So we should see the 290 Australian dollar 8500 be more around 215 or so when it comes to the US. Lastly is the six core, six thread i5-8600, which is the non-overclockable baby brother to the i5-8600K and has a base clock of 3.1 gigahertz and an unknown boost. It's set to cost a little more than the 8500 at 329 Australian dollars, which puts it around $262 in the US. Of course, the 8600K is around $260 right now, so it'll clearly have to be priced lower than that in the US. So while that does it for today, what's your favorite upcoming Intel CPU? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.